over a long period of operation, the grinding and lining bars will wear and also the spring rate of the spring bars will decay. Any of these factors will cause the power assist system to require more movement to enable grinding of the product and may mean that the PA system will need readjustment to continue operating with optimum efficiency. First of all, ensure the machine is empty and clean before opening. Remove fuses from the control enclosure to isolate the electrical supply to the machine and ensure control panel is locked off with a padlock and sign. Ensure that the machine is empty and that the PA travel is at minimum. If necessary, drive the PA system forward so that the indicator on the HMI screen reads zero. Remove the nuts on the inspection hatch and lift off the cover. Locate the toggle arms. To increase pressure, increase the length of the toggle arm by loosening the lock nut on the toggle arm and rotating the ball joint end of the toggle arm by equal turns on each arm. The arm should be adjusted to allow the grinding bar to exert a moderate force against the lining bar. With effort, it should be possible to lift the end of the grinding bar from the lining bar. Remember to adjust all the toggle arms by the same amount, otherwise the grinding system will become unbalanced and can cause damage to the machine over time. There are two toggle arms on models up to 2000 kg capacity. Three toggle arms on a 3000 kg standard, 3000 kg duplex and 5000 kg duplex model. And if you have a 5,000 kg standard model, it has four toggle arms. Ensure that the lock nuts on all of the toggle arms are tight and secure. Refit the hatch. The machine is now ready for use. If new lining and grinding bars have been fitted or tension springs, ensure the adjustment is carried out on the toggles to decrease pressure. Decreasing the length of the toggle arms by loosening the lock nut on the toggle arm and rotating the ball joint end of the toggle arm by equal turns on each arm.